It's only you I live for. Only you make sense. It doesn't matter what the world says. It's only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Only you make sense. It doesn't matter what the world says. It's only you. Only It doesn't matter what the world says. It's only you I live for. Say only you matter. Say only you matter. Only you make sense. It doesn't matter what the world says. It's only you, only you. I live for Jesus day after day. I live for Jesus. Oh, come with me. The Holy Spirit, I will obey. It doesn't matter what the world says. Hey, it doesn't matter what the world says. Only you, only you, Jesus. It doesn't matter. What the world says, only you matter, only you, Jesus. It doesn't matter what the world says. Lord, I'm going to go to the Just lift your voice and give him praise. In a world where there is so much noise, we'll stoop down to listen and flow as you speak and go where you lead and do what you say we respond to your command oh god it doesn't matter what the world says it's only you it's only you it's only you it's only you it doesn't matter what the world says here It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what the world says. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. It doesn't matter how many stand against, but I choose to respond only to the voice of Jesus. Only to the voice of Jesus. I'll do what you say. I'll do what you say. Man after your heart. I'm a man after your heart. It doesn't matter the pressure of life. I'll be quiet in my soul. To hear what you have to say on every matter. Only you, only you. It doesn't matter how loud the voice of the world is, but I choose to listen and believe your voice. Can you say that in your heart to Jesus? I choose to listen to the voice of the Holy Ghost. As he leads from within. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Come on, don't wait for another song. Lift your voice and suffer the moment. So pale, Korea di Brana Mayota.
doesn't matter what the world says. Sorry, and I'm going to go to the It doesn't matter what the storm says. It doesn't matter what the storm says. All that I need to hear is Jesus saying, walk on water. All that I need to hear is Jesus saying, it is I, come. Only you matter. Yes, Jesus. It is not just a song. It is a reality. And tonight in one accord we say, only you matter. We don't follow the trend. It doesn't matter what the world says. It's the position of our hearts. It's what we choose to respond to. The voice of truth. The voice of truth. Only you matter. Only you make sense. It doesn't matter what the world says. Regardless of the situation. Regardless of the times, only you. Only you, Jesus. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what the situation says. It doesn't matter the weight of the storm. Hey. It doesn't matter the weight of the storm. I choose to listen and believe what you say. Oh God, only you. Oh, 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 it's you I live for. Oh, 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 I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. Jesus. It's you, oh God. It's you, oh God. Hey. It's you, I live for. Lift your hands and say it tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's you I live for. I live for Jesus. Simply the vote, hey. Simply the vote, God. Simply the vote, Simply the vote, Simply the vote. My faith is away. Standing on your word, standing on your word, going where you live. 
na bayode it's you it's you it's you it's you god it's you it's you oh. Come on, make the most of this moment. So yanana, ye yanana, zola deat, zola diane, iana na 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 kuriya deso. It's you I live. I hold on to your word. What you say matters. What you are doing matters.
Can you just raise your hand and just pray and say, Lord, we're gathered again tonight. We want to receive from your spirit. We want to be enlightened. We want to be educated. We want to be impacted. Just pray now. Speak in other tongues. Kebalada Shanda Labahaya. Koraba Sati Labahandas. Clendos Kivrata Shaman Lande Kezila Bomba Giza Hatas. Mante Laba Shabela Gadeba Mongradig Zilaba Nanda Zizela Hatas. Kora Bela Dena Shambala de Gemo Rondo Goskile de Bahasa Handes. Mento de Bale Gez Cobra de Galada Shandale de Gigasahaya. Mange Rodo Bele de Zizela Manogale de Balada Hasa. Membro de Gozizela Gade Balada Zedala Bahasa Handes. Embalada Gabale de Bele de Gibasa Zelega de Bahatas. Mom Predex Agede Gaskile de Bah Shandala Dis. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, everlasting King. For in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We can have your seat very quickly. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so tonight will be some serious something, amen? Um, in the course of it, we'll do a little bit of theology and um, learn a couple of few things. I would like to advise that everyone avoid to be distracted, okay? Everyone avoid to be distracted. Um, only the ushers and the camera people, crew, they should be finding moving around, everyone should try to sit and listen, okay? Everyone should try to sit and listen. Also to allow the camera people to have a good uh, capture of what they're doing. Um, and we also em em employ them to capture properly, and capture everyone properly as well, amen. <clears throat> so if you're watching us online, this is Easter Camp Meeting. We've been having a great time. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. So we want to encourage you quickly, um, click the share button. Ensure that you share the link and have more people connect with the service. Um, click like, put some comments, and share. It's very simple. You click the share button, and then it goes to your timeline. We're shooting from Perfect Love Believer Centers on YouTube, and then on, sorry, on Facebook, and then on YouTube is PLBC TV. You can click the like button, it takes you on Facebook. If you click the like button, it takes you to your timeline. It can also take you to Messenger, for which you can help more people connect um, with the service. Okay? So we encourage you to do that. We encourage you to do that. I also usually will copy the link and then broadcast it in my WhatsApp group. I can encourage you to do the same thing. Amen. Amen. Most especially what we want to do tonight, I'm going to do a little bit of theology and to challenge why you believe what you believe and why we should believe what we believe and why Jesus is God. So all that expression that I want to do tonight um, will take a, a much, it will need you to listen carefully. That's why I wouldn't want distractions. When you, those of you watching in church, we also encourage you to do the same thing. But when you are done, put your phone on it. Airplo uh, what's it called? airplane mode or silent in such a way that it doesn't get to distract us, okay? We don't want your phone to ring. We don't want to be distracted. We have a short time to do um, a lot, okay? So I really will advise that you um, avoid distraction. If you've been missing all the other section, you're missing a lot, I encourage you to go on social media and watch the sections, okay? We had, this is camp meeting. We expected you, you were told before time to take leave to avoid going and coming in, right? Um, because we'll be building from one to another. This afternoon, uh, morning slash afternoon section, we did a lot on um, quotients, okay? Uh, necessary quotients for living, and it was very extensive. And then when we're done, we moved on another subject that was brilliant. 
right? And that's how we've been building upon it from one to another, to another, to another. Amen. So I really would not want you to miss any section. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. <clears throat> okay. So for, for us to do these great exegesis, um, I would like to start from someone um, in the Bible who had a very pathetic story. So we can um, then use that to build a body of thought. Hallelujah. And that um, guy should be John. John the Baptist. Amen? Okay. John chapter number 3 from verse number 27. John chapter number 3 from verse number 27. I want you to pay attention very closely. Hallelujah. John chapter number 3 from verse number 27. John answered and said, a man can receive... Okay, let's start from 26. From 26. You know John the Baptist, isn't it? Okay. Um... Okay, let me go to John 1. John 1, let's read 4. Let's assume you don't know John the Baptist. Okay, John 1, 4. His name was life and, li and, and, and the life was the light of men. Next verse. And the light shined in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Next verse. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. So he was sent from God. If it's in the new, if it's in this new time, you call him apostolos. But in their time, they were expressed as prophetess because there were no apostolos in their time. There could not have been an apostolos revealed until Jesus shows up. Okay, because Jesus is the ultimate, ultimate individual sent from God. And every other that he sent could be an apostolos, which you call an apostle. Okay, so in Galatians 1, uh, John will say, sorry, Paul will say, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ. Okay, an apostle of Jesus Christ. So that's why you get all that expression. So it, the expression now comes at as prophetess in that light. Next verse. Hallelujah. The same came for a weakness to bear weakness of delight that all men through him might believe. So what was he? He was to bear what? Weakness of delight. Don't forget. He was to bear weakness of delight. Eight. He was not that light. Is that clear? But interestingly, the scripture will talk at one point and said, John was a, John was a shining and a, and a burning light. But it says he was not that light. Hope you don't get confused. So how is John a burning and a shining light? And you guys did not hear, hear him. He came as a burning and a shining light. And you guys didn't receive him and all that. So sometimes you have to be careful with the Bible when you read. And that's why you need someone to help you explain. He was not that light. That means he was not Jesus. He came to represent the light. So what shining and burning was he? He was that passion for which he witnessed for the light. Okay? Are you still here? Good. So come now to John chapter number 3 from 26. John 3 from 26. Amen. Glory. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, Behold, the same baptized it, and all men came to him. Prior to this time, John had witnessed and said, Behold, the Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. I'm trying to summarize. You can put that on Google. You'll be seeing scriptures on them. Right? John had said that. Behold, the Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. He had said that prior to this time. So now, what the disciples came to meet him and says, Right? Remember, he says he is not that light. You remember? Good. And he came unto him and said unto him, Rabbi, 
He that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptized, and all men come to him. The normal natural human character of jealousy. Next verse. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from above. Amazing. You see the perspective? You see his mindset? Different from the people who communicated. A man can receive nothing except it be given, given him from heaven. Next verse. Ye yourself bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ. You see that? That I said I am not the Christ, but I am sent before him. I am sent before him. Next verse. He that had the bride is the bridegroom, but he that but the friend of the bride, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. Next verse. He must increase, and I must decrease. Amen. Glory to God. 31. After 31, give me the scripture where he said, Behold the Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. Just check that out so you give that to us. He that came from above is above all. He that, he that is of the earth is earthy and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. Now what do you get this expression to be? He that cometh from above is above all. Jesus who came from above is above all. He that is earthy speaketh from this earth. Who is that? he that is earthy? You could see the disciples of John. You could also see his John. Well, John and his disciples are those who came from the earth. Now, take note of the word. It says, he that cometh from above. He came, he came from above. Right? It's above all. Then he that is earthy, John, and his disciples were earthy. It's simple, it's simple analysis from what we're coming. But now, because if John was not earthy, he will not say that I may decrease and he will increase. So, so, that he was etty, right, um, expressed the fact that there's a certain way we speak being etty. However, when you subject yourself to the influence from above, the perspective will change. Now listen, listen very good. When you begin to get stirred in the spirit, like you're getting in this meeting now, you begin to talk from above. When you begin to backslide, when you begin to get lukewarm, you begin to talk etty. You begin to reason from this place. You begin to think and talk like natural people as against divine and eternal people. As a matter of fact, one of the ways we spot that you are backsliding is that your perspective, your opinion, your pursuit, your ambition will be natural in nature. When we find that you begin to enjoy eternal perspective, eternal focus, eternal every stuff, you begin to put God first above all things, we know you are getting spiritual. So to get spiritual is not to know a lot of spiritual things to say. To get spiritual is something that changes your ideology, is something that changes your pursuit, is something that redefine your lust. Your lust is not natural. Your lust now becomes um, godly, eternal. What God, what, what God is interested in. Are you following? Okay, so give, out, give us the other scripture. So John said, in John 1, 29, it says, The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, see the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Behold, see the Lamb of God, which taketh the sins of the world. Glory to God. Okay? So we found all this happen. Go to Matthew 11 from verse number 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you still here? And it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of the, of the commanding his 12 disciples, he departed tents to teach and to preach in their city. Next verse. Now, when John had hid in the prison the work of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, 
Now, when John had heard in prison the work of Christ, he sent two of his disciples. If you put your cursor here and do a cross-reference, you will know where he heard it from. It was his disciples that came to tell him. You know something about the synoptics, where you investigate all others to get some details from some. It was his disciples who had told him that the one who you witness for beyond Jordan, right, has started to do a lot of miracle and look at you here. He has left you here. Okay, next verse. And said unto him, Art thou he that should come? What did he say in John 1, 29? Now, what is he saying here? Art thou he that should come? Or we do look for another. Now, listen. It is easy for you to judge John now because you were not in his shoes. Am I preaching? It's interesting. You know when they're telling you a story that you're not facing directly? They're killing Christians in the north. You're like, hey, yeah. If you were there, you would not just be, hey, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be there to really feel what was happening. I'm telling you. When you see how it happens, those who have lived in the north can tell you. Then you'll be like, oh. So sometimes when you read a story and you want to really get the picture, put yourself in the story. Put yourself in the story. This guy was in prison. Go back to two. John was in prison. They want to cut his head off. And the person he lived his whole life for is busy performing miracles to other people outside. You see, by this whom that Pastor Bess is saying now, he said, me, self, I go vex. Mm. Do you agree? No, let's be frank. For you not to be angry, you must be spiritual. And someone is not saying very spiritual. Because it can't be ordinary spiritual. Right? Now, I'm going somewhere. Listen. If you really don't know this God that you serve and this Jesus that you serve, when tough time comes, your feet will shake. You can be saying, I love Pastor Preston. Oh, I love Pastor Preston. He's my pastor. I'm so in love with him. And all that you're saying because all is well. And then I give you one harsh treatment that's supposed to look harsh to you. You're saying, there are other nice ministries around. It's not the only grace preacher. It's not the only one that knows Bible. If that's when you now remember that you know someone who can preach too. Are you there? But when you are convinced of my calling and you comprehend it in the spirit, no matter what happens, you is the one that has eternal life. No matter what. So when, when the disciples left Jesus, the 70 disciples left Jesus, you couldn't blame them. They didn't leave because they hated Jesus. They had exhausted their capacity. They had exhausted it. Are you following this? Good. So come now. So he said, next verse 3, let's be quick. Hallelujah. So he said, and said unto him, Are thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Next verse. Four. Jesus answered and said unto them, Go show John again those things which you do hear and see. Take note of the word again because he was shown before. Are you there? He was shown before. I think this is not the best response. Humanly. It doesn't seem like the best response humanly. It's just like your son is angry that you're eating bread. You didn't give him. So why are you eating the bread you didn't give him? In our senses, younger brother say, go and ask daddy if I'm really his son. Why will he be eating bread and he will not give me and I'm hungry? Then you now tell the boy and say, go and tell him, not just bread. There's also sardine and butter. 
plus wine. Go and tell him. Now, indirectly, you are saying, you cannot blackmail me. Right? So he says, go tell him again. Again. Glory to God. Go tell him again. Now, question is, why is he saying a thing like that? Because Jesus expected better from John. Now, as we read on, you will understand why. If I ask you today, why do you believe Jesus? I could tell you some of you don't know why you believe Jesus. If some of you were born in the north, but to a Muslim family, you would not have been Christians. If some of you were born maybe in, in uh, uh, Ad, Ad, Afghanistan and all those places, you may not have been Christians. Have you really investigated your faith? That's why one small Jehovah's Witness just come, he will just kick you off your foot. Do you know why Catholic Church is bigger than all the other Christian faith put together? Like when I'm in all the Christian, I'm talking about uh, Pentecostal and the rest, all these denominations put all, all put together. Because it's a scholastic faith. It's what? A scholastic faith. Pentecostalism is Pentecostal Raska. Follow me closely. I said it will be hard tonight. Forgive me. But I'll tell you that even Jehovah's Witness has more fact than Christians. That's why you hardly find Jehovah's Witness converting to Christianity. But you find Christians converting to Jehovah's Witness. Who knows what I'm talking about? You have questions for you that you cannot answer. I think I'm one of different because I had the Jehovah's Witness who begged me not to convert him because I knew my scriptures. And that time I didn't even know as much. So if, if I catch him now, he'll be in soup. Are you still there? One time we went to buy something somewhere. We met one guy selling um, drugs and then he was saying all the weapon that they used to use, you know that uh, uh, we inherit the earth. I said, yes, I know. He's shocked. My wife is then I can't lie. He said, he said, you're not you're a different Christian. I said, we are the ones who know the word. When I started to enter him, he became late. So I started, he said, Satan was thrown down 1914. Where's your fact? You said. This is that, 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 that. Where's your fact? And let me try at some point. And maybe you need to come and speak to our elder because he don't hook. I said, but when I was talking since I didn't tell you to speak to any elder, I was answering you. They have more fact. All you know is to the Lord will do it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But today, by God's grace and much more into the camp, we will equip you against these people. Because times are coming. People are beginning to get tired of church. You. Maybe you're not following the internet. Because people's eyes are beginning to open. If you don't pay tight, your life will, will be tight. Then they didn't pay tight. Their life were not tight. Because you were deceiving them. The Lord will bless you. Only the pastor is getting blessed. The members are not getting blessed. Some people are not asking questions. And then they are not calculating the being blessed of the pastor as the contribution of the congregant. So even the pastor who is telling you God will bless you, is really not, not even getting blessed by the God. He's getting blessed by your susu. Because you did not know what God has said and what he has not said. Are you see? It was amazing. John could say all that amazing thing about Jesus. He was not in any obligation. The only thing he was doing was losing members. Even though some of you are losing members, you will even clash. 
But now his life was at stake. He said, This is the one I haven't talked about. You should say, I really understand that. Who has come? Because I don't understand again. I don't understand. He just left me here. And he's healing the sick. And I'm his forerunner. What's going on? Wait till you be the one I'll be making work and wait for another one. Are you still there? Glory to God. So, because you're not grounded, you really don't know. There was a time in my life where I started to read history about Jesus. History. I want to see where they tallied with the Bible. Amongst all other that showed up. And I was convinced. I didn't say go and be reading history when you have not read your Bible. Read your Bible first. And I was convinced that there was no man that ever existed like him. If you know anyone. No man. No man spoke like him. No man lived like him. History has it. History has it. Are you still, are you still here? So he says, go show John again. Those things which you, 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 you do hear and see. Next verse. Glory to God. Still here? The blind receive their sight, and the lame work, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. Now, because John's immediate problem is associated with this. So he says, go tell him, I am doing them. He started with John's immediate problem. So he can go now to talk about what is the real thing. Remember, 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 follow me closely. If John had learned from the story of the children of, of God in the wilderness, which the Bible told us to learn, where, where should he has where should he have concluded as man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God? And bread alone expresses the fact that the things that God can give you, but the things that you learn from the fact that He gives you, which is the fact that God is consistent, God is faithful by whom He were called. Are you sure you understand this? Right? That's the conclusion. That's the conclusion of his provision. So now John is looking for a provision. John is looking for some form of help. Because of the help he's looking for, he is beginning to murmur. Now, listen here, listen here. Is it different from what the children of Israel did in the, in the wilderness? Not different. And what did the Bible say? Follow me closely. That they behaved in that light. It says they were destroyed by the destroyer. So why did John die? Why did John die? Because he doubted the person of God. A believer will not die by the destroyer until he gives up on God. Are you following me? No matter what's going on, we keep trusting. We keep trusting. We keep hoping. We don't give up. Against hope, Abraham believed in hope. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. We don't give up. We keep trusting because we know him. We know him. We understand him. Are you following? Because there is something to give us an example in the Old Testament. Because they doubted. They were destroyed. Are you following me? So he says, go tell them. God still has power. And he's doing this stuff. Listen, no. Oh. So, I thought that would have been enough to say, well, you see, the blind still receiving inside and all that. John, you should have had faith and be healed. It didn't stop there. Because I told you, listen, listen. Our faith, our faith is not built on what God has done. Follow me closely. Our faith is built on whom God is. Listen, for, listen well. However, 
being introduced to our faith is built on what God does. So let me give you some proof in that light. John chapter number 20 verse number 30. We'll come back here this Matthew 5, 11. Are you still here? John 20, 30. Quick, 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 quick. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. They are not written in this book. Next verse. But these are written that ye may believe that Jesus is Christ. So the miracle is not to build you up. It's to make you believe in him that now can build you up. Are you sure you understand what I'm saying? The miracles is to make you what? Believe in the person. Are you following this? So, so when, hear me, when your trust in God is based on what God can do, you are still a nephew. And in that place that you are in, you can be offended by God. Are you sure you understand what I'm saying? Hebrews chapter number 11 verse number 6. So when it seems like God cannot now do, you'll be offended. When it seems like God is not now doing, you'll be offended. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Colon. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. What's the first thing? In the expression of the faith for which without it you can't please God. You must first believe what? That he is. The next, the, and the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Are you following this? Am I making sense? Good. So, the children of Israel, God embarrassed them, God blessed them, God provided their need. Why? Deuteronomy again, 8 from 2 to 3. It says that they will come to the place to know that men, right, right, what do you say? Men ought to live, uh, 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 man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now, but by every word, but by every word. The every word is higher than the bread alone. And the bread alone is to make you believe in the every word. Are you following me? Until you come to that every word. If you stay within the bread alone, there will be destruction. Let's look at it. 1 Corinthians chapter number 10. Okay, they are showing you already. 1 Corinthians chapter number 10. From verse number 9. Hallelujah. Okay. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of the serpent. Next verse. Neither murmur ye. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Next verse. Now all these things happen unto them for and for, for example uh, unto them for example and they were written, listen, they were written what? For our admonition. Upon whom the end of the word are come. They are written for what? For our admonition. Now when you use the word, upon whom the end of the word are come, the word end of the word just means perilous time. That means harder time. I think I've proven this in church before. So I won't prove it for this meeting. Are you there? You see, they are written for what? Our admonition. Go up and show us where he said, showed us the character of, the, of those people. They ate, they drank, they played, and they slept. And the Bible says, and God was not pleased. Let's show you. Seven. You still here? 
Glory to God. Neither be ye idolaters. As were some of them. Neither be ye idolaters. As were some of them. Uh -huh. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. So when you go to church, so your needs can be met only. What are you? By this scripture. Idolaters. What did the Bible say about idolatry? Even from Exodus 20. What did he tell you about it? Say, God is jealous, God. You shouldn't be in that character. Right? What about John, 1 John chapter number 5? It's number 21. My little children, they depart from what? From idols. That's why it says, you are either, look at it, look at it. You are either serving God or mammon. To serve means to seek treasure and to live for one whom you have submitted yourself to. So he says, if you have not done that to God, you certainly, you are doing it for mammon. Hello? And he says, you can't save the two. You cannot save the two. So, we, you will not know that you are living for mammon until you are pressured by a need. That's when you will know you are living for mammon. You cannot say, I love you, Jesus, to be trusted until there's no money in your pocket at all. Praise the Lord. The young boy left you. You are crying like someone without hope. You are serving mammon. The Lord is saying, it's okay. He said, no. How will you just leave me like that? What will happen to my life? That means he's the one that is, am I preaching good? Am I preaching good? Yes, Glory to God. If yeah. I left you, say, thank you, Lord. More opportunities to serve God. I can pray more now. I'll be thinking whether someone is going to message me. Can that be your reality? You grow there. It's a thing of growth. As you give God, look at it. He said he must, he that coming to God must believe that he is. And as you begin to give God attention of his word, staying with him in fellowship and prayers, studying God's word, you come to that place. You come to that place. Are you still here? He says, let me read again. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, right? As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink. Is anything wrong with eating and drinking? Sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Rose up to play. Romans 14, 17. Hallelujah. He says, with that God was not pleased. Right? Show us, show us, before you come there, show us that God was not pleased. Let them see it. He said, with that, God was not pleased. Hallelujah. Go back, sorry. Hallelujah. Glory. Are you following me? I'm taking you on a journey. Amen. Neither be, be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Next verse. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Okay, hope you know this fornication is not the same kind of fornication. Huh? Well, let's leave it for this meeting. In another meeting, I might prove it. Next verse. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpent. Go, maybe you should go up. He says, and, and God was not pleased. Thank you. Five. But with many of them, let's start from four. From four. Uh-huh. Repeat itself again. And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Next verse. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. You see that? They were overthrown. What they ought to be learning, they were not learning. They were just interested in what God can be doing. Does that not look like the church that you find today? 
what they ought to be learning. Some of you, if you lose the thing that is so precious to you right now, you may not serve God again. I heard a lady one time, she said, God, I'm angry with you. Angry with you. I won't serve you again, you will know. I looked and I, I smiled. I said, you are threatening God. So I told her, I said, before you, many have gone. And you are just one of many who have gone. You are privileged to be identified with God. Privilege. Who are you? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the wherever of Christ. I know my identity. It's because God gave you. If God didn't give you, you are not. You are just dust. So don't feel so important with yourself, except you become one with Christ. It is Christ that puts relevance. It is Christ that brings put glory in. We were called 18 verses. That's why it says, it says, it says, there is great treasure in 18 verses. And it is him that is the great treasure. Without him, 18 verses, dust. Dust. Someone say, find it. Find it without Jesus. Dust. Did you hear that? Dust. Glory to God. Are you following me? So come back to, to Matthew 11. 4. Hallelujah. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go show John again those things which you, have, which you didn't see and hear. 5. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Next verse. And blessed is he, watch this, watch this. Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Matthew eleven six. Go to Matthew 24, 10. Matthew 24, 10. Be quick with me, please. And then shall many be offended. And then shall, when shall many be offended? Go to nine. Go to nine. Then shall they deliver up to be afflicted and killed. Are you following this? Is it making sense? John has been delivered to be, to be afflicted and killed. Are you following this? Then shall, they be, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and, and, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Next verse. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Go to Matthew 4. You see how I'm moving? Matthew 11, Matthew, Matthew 24. Now we're going to Matthew 4. Matthew 5, sorry. Matthew 5, 9, 9 and 10. Quickly, 9 and 10. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Next verse. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Right? For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for that's the kingdom of heaven. Look at 11. Stronger 11. Blessed are they when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Next verse. Rejoice. So in persecution, you rejoice, you are not offended. Am I preaching good? In persecution, you rejoice, you are not offended. Sir, it is not possible because you are earthy. You speak it from the earth. You have not allowed him to increase while you decrease. If he increases while you decrease, you will not be offended. You will rejoice. Oh, am I preaching good tonight? So he says, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Why? For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophet, which were before you. Come back. Matthew 24. 10. Glory to God. Are you still here? 
And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Next verse. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many, shall deceive many. So the hating one another, be, being offended, is a function of the fact that you are deceived. That means you lacked enough capacity. Go back to four of the same verse. Four of the same verse. Glory to God. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed, take heed, take heed that no man deceive you. So when you, when you get offended by Jesus or by a by whom God gave you, or by the brethren, right? He says, you are falling for deception. That means, that means you are not holistically grounded by God's word. Because it says, entirely wanting nothing. James 1, 4, entirely wanting nothing. Romans chapter number 5, verse number 3, right? He says, we rejoice in tribulation, in tribulation. Ephesians 4, tossed to and fro by the wind of every doctrine. 14, tossed to and fro by the wind of every doctrine. And it says, you are nephews as children, tossed to and fro by the wind of every doctrine. Why? You are not grounded, convinced. Before Ephesians 4, there was Ephesians 3. That you may comprehend with all the sin, what is the height the breadth, the length, the depth. And to know the love of Christ, which surpasses nurses, which is higher than natural knowledge. To know the love of Christ, which surpasses, which is higher than. Glory to God. Yeah. So how will I not be offended by Jesus? If I refuse to allow deception. If I get grounded for which my belief is firm. Glory. I say glory. Okay. Hallelujah. Still preaching? Preaching good? Glory to God. So, go to 11 again. Uh, 12 now. 12 now. Go read 11 earlier. And see what it says in 12. And because iniquity shall abound. Because iniquity shall abound. Because iniquity shall abound. What is iniquity shall abound? What will not be iniquity? A way that is not the way of the Lord. Making sense. Trend. Amazing situation. Wonderful situation. He said because they shall abound. What did he say? The love of many shall wax cold. In the iniquity shall abound. Will be because Yahoo boy shall abound. Economy will go tough. The love of many will wax good. Why? Why will they wax good? Because in the first place, their love for God is hanging on what he can do for them. Not what they have become of him. Are you understanding this thing this evening? Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, shall wax good. Look what it says in the next verse. See what it says in the next verse. He now says, watch this. Glory. He now says, but he that shall endure. He that shall endure, he that shall endure to the end, he that shall endure unto the end, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure unto the end, he that shall endure. Pastor, how are you sure that iniquity is the same kind? This is Matthew chapter number 26. In Matthew 16, he had said it. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Then emphatically he now says, you cannot. Hallelujah. He says, you cannot hold your life and follow me. He says, you have to give up your life and follow me. Say, well, that's an option. No, not an option. John already says that he will increase and I will decrease. That he will increase. And I will decrease. You can't hold your life in this world. I want to hold the life of Christ. You can't hold your life in this world. I want to grow in Christ. Once you hold your life in this world. Once you want to be relevant of the, the natural corrupt nature of this world. Something will make you get offended with Christ. Oh, do you understand? If John did not count his life as anything. Even without a provision from Jesus. 
he would not have behaved the way he had behaved. Don't forget, Paul was faced with the same situation. And what was Paul's confession? None of these things moved me. What was the thing? You were going to be killed. So Paul did not hold his life dear. Pastor Preston, what are you preaching? I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. But once the work of God is not in the equation, what are you talking about? By faith, people were willing to die. Hebrews 11. By faith. Is this too hard? I love you. You love me too? We're looking too serious. Tell somebody, how are you doing? Are you following? Because we're in the last days. All of the cancel needs to be declared. Praise the Lord. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm introducing this someone. Going somewhere. So move now quickly back to John. Where did we stop? Was it six or five? Let's continue from there. Quick, quick, quick. We will not fear the diesel to preach, but go quick. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Matthew 11. It's a Matthew day. Before we get out from Matthew. I'm blessed to say who shall not be offended in me. Next verse. Next verse. I want you to follow how Jesus is handling this situation. First, he says, go tell him that the sick is getting well, which is the place for the pew. It did happen. Then now says, but blessed is he who will not be offended by me. Why? Because if that is the, the reason for your following and your loving and all that, something happens. Remember, Jesus categorically said to one set of people, he said, are you not following me because of what I have to give you? That people were following him because of what they have to give him. Were they, the one that, were they not the one who says, a, 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 a free Barnabas crucified Jesus? Pilate said, I have not found anything wrong with this man. This is Easter. Let's talk about our Lord and Master, Jesus. I have not found anything wrong with this man. He says, Pilate, we will report you. We will go and report you to Rome, the king in Rome. If you don't kill him, then you are not a friend of the king in Rome. Because you were sent by him to stand here for, on, on his behalf. They say killed him. Those were the same people he did miracle for. Oh, I don't know. I've been, all the things that I've been doing for, for her, doing for him, he now betrayed me. You cannot use things to keep people. You use who you are to keep people. I'm very sexy. He cannot leave me. There's someone more sexy than you. I'm very wealthy. She cannot leave me. There's someone more wealthy than you. You must have something that is stronger than being sexy. You must have something that is stronger than being wealthy. Wisdom. Good character. Excellent character. That's a digression. Let's come back. In the case, it says you are the only one that has the word of life. Eternal life. The twelve said. So he says, now pay attention. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude, consigning John, what went he out into the wilderness to see? Now this is the cocoa of the conversation. What went he into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking with the wind. Let's take it from King James and have some very nice English. Put it on the Passion Translation. So this is where the sermon starts. I was introducing it. Are you following me this evening? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. As they were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. As they were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. That means he now wanted to give a lesson from the situation of John. You know how somebody had messed up and then after you called the people and say, Kai, don't fall like this guy, this great who just fellow. And see where the problem happened. So he's giving a lesson. So he says, what kind of man did you see when you went into the wilderness? Did you expect to see a man who would be easily intimidated? Hello? Don't be distracted. Focus now. Will you find a man who will be easily what? Intimate. 
What kind of man did you go and see in the wilderness? Will you find a man who will be easily intimidated? Listen now. Listen now. <laughs> you know, some of you like to use black me as a weapon to get what you want. Learn. Not a man who has been trained. I will tell the world. Tell them. The news will just last one week. Tell them. Before you finish, before you are, why the news is still getting a little bit hot, you will now hear what Bobrisky have done. I was listening to Bobrisky. I just, I just saw it in the passing. I can't be watching her. Watching him. She. <laughs> Did I call her how? She, uh, I can't be watching Shim. You know what she said? You know what Shim said? <laughs> he said Shim. She said she him. She him. <laughs> Shim said. It's not even making sense, but let's, let's take it like that. <laughs> Shim said <laughs> that she doesn't have, oh, Shim doesn't have Shim. Shim doesn't have Shim. So I've killed it since. So I said, if this shame does not have shame for this nonsense she's doing, for this nonsense shame's doing, then we should be like Paul. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Glory to God! Yeah, and this Christianity and all that. But look one shame doing nonsense. Huh? So he says, would he, would, who, who would be easily intimidated? So that tells you, listen now, that tells you, you don't blackmail God to get what you want. Hear me now. You don't blackmail God to get what you want. How do you get what you want? Act the principle of faith, not blackmail. Act the principle of what? Faith, not blackmail. You don't blackmail it. So wait, now watch, watch. After all that I've done, after this, he doesn't count to the best that may do to you is to cause you to believe that he can do it. Don't blackmail him more. People have done more for him. Nothing you have done that someone has not done more. Did you die? People died for him more. After all I did for you, why will I? In fact, some pastor even preaches as principles. When you come before God, count all the things that you have done. And I say, and I did, he walked too. Let me tell you, if he ever walked, it made you believe that God will not leave you in this situation. So, so you can count it to remember, say, I did this, I did that, I did that. How if I did all these things? This guy can be nice enough to help me. Not to tell him so he will not be pushed or moved. Wait. All the people that God healed. Right through Jesus. What did they do for God? Nothing. Are you hearing me? Yes, All the people Jesus healed, they did not do anything for God to be healed. They did not do anything. In fact, those who were doing things for God, because they were too conscious of what they were doing for God, they could not receive healing. They thought it's what they were doing for God that would make God heal them, which became strength. They could not be healed. Those who were not doing it, that's why they were quick to say, I'm a sinner, have mercy on me. That's the pattern. Because they knew they didn't do anything. They didn't keep the commandment. They didn't do it. But you say, I'm a sinner, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Do you believe? I believe. Heal. Are you still here? So God is not intimidated. You can intimidate him. No, you cannot. If you need help, Ask in faith. If your faith seems to be feeling, come in mercy. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. David prayed. He didn't say, you saw how I killed Goliath. You saw how I did that. No. He said, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. Psalm 51. This is mercy. He's a good and kind God. So this is mercy. It's not your power. It's his mercy. Am I preaching well? So he says, I, you cannot, you think I can be intimidated? Now watch what he says. Watch what he says. What kind of man did you see 
when you went out into the wilderness. So you will not know that God cannot be intimidated until you go into the wilderness and truly learn of the wilderness. But when you learn of this word, you would think God can be intimidated because you have intimidated your loved ones before and they fell for it. So of 80, where men are raised wrongly, emotional blackmail is a weapon to get what you want. But being trained by God, that is not the style and the pattern. It's not the style and the pattern. Preaching good. After all that I did. After this that I did. After that that I did. No, you have not been well trained in the wilderness. You have not been well trained. He was in the wilderness. He ate locust and white beast. That's what he ate. The training. The training. Did not come out right. Next. You still here? Eight. Follow this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who was he? Did he expect to see a man decked up in the splendid fashion of the day? <laughs> I like this guy. Those who wear fancy clothes live like king in the palace. So he's telling you this faith is rugged. It's rugged. Those who wear fancy clothes, they're in the palace. But in this our faith, we're rugged, rugged soldiers. Preaching good. Are you sure you understand it? Next verse. I wish I had more time. If I was preaching on only this, I'd have stayed more here. Nine. Or did you encounter a true prophet out in the lonely wilderness? Or did you encounter a true prophet? Out in the lonely wilderness, yes, John was a prophet like those of the past. But he is even more than that. Hold on. Give me this on the King James. Passion translation is, is becoming too passionate without accurate knowledge. You know, Z without knowledge. <laughs> Amen. Follow me now. Let's read. But what went he out to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. Hold on. Now, they made it seem like it was John he was talking to here. But here he wasn't talking to John, he was talking to Jesus. That's why I say it was too passionate. So, Jesus said, when you were being trained in the wilderness, what did you learn about me, Jesus? Remember I said, you think you can intimidate me. I cannot. A reed shaken by the weed. That means something that is flexible. That just goes up and down. He said, no, I'm not that kind. Though. And now says, and why did he use the word a reed shaken by the wind? Can I preach? Because there was a Jezebel who had shaken Elijah, like a reed. With all that Elijah did, he said, oh God, they come for you. The guy take off. So that one could be intimidated. Ah, uh, wait, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. He said, ah, how are you sure? Jesus don't make statements that you can't follow up from the Old Testament. Otherwise, he will be leading you out of scriptures. So every statement he makes, you can follow it out of in the Old Testament. If you don't find them in the Old Testament, you have not read it well, or you may need some apocrypha. I say you may need some, not all. They were all coming from somewhere. He was very calculative in his expression. When he comes to his doctrine, he was presenting. The lesson he needed to teach, there, was, there, there must always be an Old Testament, right, for which you, he can leverage on to communicate it. That's why he said they were written for our admonition. Are you following me? So when he says, do you think it's a reed who can just be shaking? It was Elijah I was making reference to. He was a prophet too. Because the communication here was a prophet. After he spoke about himself, he went on to speak about John, another prophet. You understand? So he said, you think I'm that, that one? No, he said, I can't be intimidated though. 
I was trained that way. Listen, what's some more proof in that line? If he was, if he could have been intimidated, he would have run from the cross. He would have run. The cross was stronger than even Jezebel. He would have run. Cross, you want to nail me? No. I refuse to die. I'm not dying again. Are you following me? Don't worry, as I teach you, you learn some things. 100% God, 100% man. Glory to God. Are you still there? So he says, I'm not shaking. I'm firm. What did David tell Solomon? Be that way, man. Firm. What did God tell Joshua? Turn not to the right, turn not to the left. What is the same thing? Be that way, man. Firm. So of every of God's training, we were trained to be firm. Because situations will show up that will test our faith. If we are not firm, we will become offended by God or by a brethren. So he now says, follow this now. He says, a prophet, a prophet, what went he had to see? Notice, a prophet, a, not a definite article. He didn't say the prophet. He says, a prophet, that means one of any other kind of prophet, and every other kind of prophet had, had some things you could look and could see one or two reasons for which they, you know, could have bent or missed some things and all that. He says, a prophet, no, he says, yeah, I am, look at it. Prophet, yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. Full stop. More than a prophet. Full stop. I wish I had time. Right? And don't say, sister, come. Because if I, if I withdraw you now, there'll be trouble. I would have gone down. But let's leave down. Let's stay on the subject. I'm more than a prophet. Now listen. There was not any that existed that was more than a prophet. It was the only one that existed that was more than a prophet. Let me explain a little bit to you. A prophet is one who is sent by God. So anyone that is more than a prophet is God himself. Are you listening to me? It's God himself. So you are now telling God, should we look for another God? That means your Jewish polyester, po, uh, sorry, uh, uh, politism characteristics was still in existence in your mind. Not understanding the fact that God is mon mono and not poly. They had that character. For which they felt they, they had they see God as many. Are you still here? Praise the Lord. So there's so many arguments in theology. So many arguments. Arius, one of the The Nicaea bishops that were raised in the time where Constantine had chosen to bring bishops to manage the church in the, in the sellout opinion of unity, but so they can be controlled. I follow me? Had raised the Nicaea bishops for which there was one of them, Arius, who then said, God created Jesus. Jesus is not God. God created Jesus. And some of the folk began to believe him. Some of the folk began to believe him. Are you there? We well, believe in him. There was one out of the hundreds of bishops. So they raised another. The creed showed up. Right? And then excommunicated him. 
for saying that God was created. Why am I telling you all this history? Remember, Constantine had been converted. He had become a Christian. But even though he had become a Christian, right? He wanted these Christians to be controlled. Are you following me now? Under the Catholic order. And by the way, you see, the word Catholic, when you hear it now, it's not a bad word. Say, um, uh, I'm a Catholic. And I say, I'm not a Catholic. So you're wrong. God designed Christianity for us to be Catholics. The struggle now. God designed Christianity for us to be Catholics. I didn't say to be Roman Catholics. Mm -hmm. So you, are now come, you have come. What is the meaning of the word Catholics? It means universal. What can operate in several places the same way? Now, what did Jesus say when he lived? That you all will be one as I and my father is one. That is Catholicism. So it expresses orthodox nature. Are you following me? These histories are necessary. But where the problem now came is that instead of unifying us with doctrines, they now did it with dogma. Are you following me now? They now did it with dogma. Interestingly, it seems like I'm preaching for Catholics today. Interestingly, it was an amazing thing that they got the Trinity right, even though I don't agree with the word. Trinity and triumph. Trion. Trion. Three in one. And some says tripartite, some says which other one? But basic ones, because you could make a comparison, Trinity and triumph. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are all God. God the Father, the big one. God the Son, the small one. God the Holy Spirit, I'm not sure where they placed it. Is it the list? Okay. Are you following me tonight? I'm going some. John. John is why we're coming here. John. He said, who do you think? Jesus said to, to Peter, Peter. He says, what do men say I am? He said, some said you are John the Baptist. Some said you are Elijah. What do they mean? One sent from the Lord. Am I right? One sent from the Lord. He now says, okay. Now, Jesus didn't ask, who do men say I am? Because he wants to prognose his inquisitive. He wants to get public opinion about him. No, he wants to understand the understanding of the people whom he had come to save. Remember, John 1 said, he came to his own, but they knew him not. So he was making an assessment. Then he says, who do you say? I am. What was the feedback? Son of the living. Right? What is son? Now if I say what is son, what comes to your mind is that son is one that was bettered by you. Right? That's your opinion, right? So I say, Gabriel is my son. I give birth to him. But I'm thinking, why will he say he is a son and they sought to kill him and said he had said a taboo? If son is that kind of son. Because what you didn't understand according to their own time is that son is one begotten of. Incarnate. One whom from a spirit realm had put on flesh. Incarnate. Now remember, Jesus was not the first incarnate. Angels had been incarnate before Jesus. 
angels had one human body to help people before. Okay, preaching good. Jesus was not the first incarnate. He was just the incarnate of the Father. The incarnate Christ. So, he had put on flesh. Are you following me? John 1, 19. 19. John 1, 19. Sorry, 18. 18. Read with me. Let's go. No man had seen God at any time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father. Where, where was he? The bosom of the father. He had declared him. Think about this. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten son, who, who, which, is, which is in the bosom of the father, he had declared him. So that means Jesus had declared God. So Jesus is God. But I know a lot of your confusions, confusions that people like Daddy Freeze, uh, Renaud Mokre, um, Jehovah's Witness, and the rest will have and say, no, Jesus is not God. That's what they say. Jesus is the Son of God. He's a Son of God, and it's not God. But I want to ask a question. A question. Every son was born by a woman and a man. That's the question I want to ask them. Every son was born by a woman and a man. Why was Jesus different? After Jesus, there was not another that was born the way he was born. Hold on. Now, for other religions, I won't mention, but I'll be very specific. Our prophet is the last prophet. How was he born? How many wives did he marry? Our Jesus didn't marry one. He was born. There was no woman. History agreed with it. There was no man, sorry. So how is he a son? Oh, well, you see, and the father, the father pregnated, pregnated, um, 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 what's it called? Mary. So, God, God, now slept with Mary. Be careful. Now, isn't that how pregnant someone? It's because this says, how would this thing be? He says, by the spirit. An action of the spirit. John says, Jesus says, what do you go and see in the wilderness? That means in your training, what did you discover me to be? And this is a wilderness now that I'm showing you that he is more than a prophet. He's the son of God. And not just a son as you have known. He is God almighty. God needed the some research you are like to go and do. Cerebralism uh, uh, and uh, and and um, modalism, all that will give you a broad ex explanation of these things, okay? And even um, um, ma 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 is it macarism or something like that? All the, there are many of them. All that theories. So just open your mind, the way you study history in school, to open your mind. Are you following me? Okay, Pastor Preston, if he is God, why did he pray to his father? Why did he say, my father is greater than I am? Why? What you fail to understand, Jesus categorically said, and I quote, before Abraham, I am. Is that right? So let me give you some expression here. Let's find the scriptures. Amen? I want you to look at something very close. Very smart. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Exodus chapter number 25, verse number 40. Let's see what's there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you still here? Oh, sorry. Give me that scripture where it says, Go tell Abraham, go tell Pharaoh that the I am sent you. Amen. Are you still here? If you don't know your faith, someone will kick you off one day. So know your faith well. And this is the right time to know because it's Easter. Glory to God. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Are you still here? Don't be tired, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Tell him that the I am sent you. That's the scripture I want you to find. Amen. Exodus 3.14. Exodus 3.14. Glory to God. Are you still here? Please pay close attention. Let's do a little bit, um, some bit of theology. And God said to Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am that sent me unto you. I am had sent me unto you. Notice, not I, I am that I was, I am that I will be, I am. Take note, right? Now, Moses is asking God, who is sending me? What did he reply? I am. Right? I am. Okay. Go to John 8, 58. John 8, 58. This is God who spoke here, right? Good. John 8, 58. Jesus said unto them, Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, Before Abraham, I am. So wait. Um, no, he's trying to explain that before Abraham, he was existing. No, before Abraham, the English would have been, I was. Follow me closely. The English would have been what? I was. He now says, before Abraham, I am. That means Jesus is confirming the fact that he is I am. Who is following me here now? He is what? I am. Huh? Go to Matthew 28. Oh, I thought you'd be excited about this thing. So you can see how superior your faith is. Christianity is not one of the other religions. It's not one of Jesus is on the way. There are no options. Matthew 28, 20. Quickly. Hallelujah. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I com have commanded you. And lo, I am. It seems like English. Eh? I, I am with you. Uh, no, no. It is not I am. This I am is a noun. Mm. It's a noun. And so what's your name? I am. Are you following me? It's consistent. God said it to Moses. Jesus represented it when he was talking about Abraham. Then he says, I am with you always. Hold on. I am with you always, even until the end of time. Okay, hold on. When they wanted to quote this, which we read recently in Hebrews chapter number 13 from 5 and 6. Let's read it. 5 and 6, quickly. Glory to God. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. No, let's start from 5. From 5, the B part. Hallelujah. For he had said, I will never leave, you, leave thee, nor forsake Lo, I am with you always. 
Are you following that? He now says, for he had said, I will never leave you to forsake the next verse. Seven. He now says, so that you may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. So, I am is the Lord. No, I'm not sure you understand it. Who is following me now? I am is the Lord. No, who said I will never leave you nor forsake you? Jesus, right? He now says, the Lord is my helper. You are both saying what I am said. So I am is the Lord. So Jesus is the Lord. Now you can understand why David will say, the Lord said unto my Lord. Are you still there? So in this, the Catholic Church got it right. When they said Jesus Christ is God. As against Arius who says, no, he's a created, created being. Oh, glory to God. Are, are you following this? Okay. There's something called the hypostatic union. Hypostatic union. Hallelujah. Right? From an Athanasian's creed. Leave all these plenty of things. Huh? But just pick the point. They said, hypostatic union says Jesus is fully God and fully man. And like I said, from, the, from that creed, he says, God from the essence of the Father before time then God as a son was the one captured in time to identify with humans. Are you following this? Hope you are not lost. To identify with time. Glory to God. To identify with time. So, so, this, listen now, this is too high for rational reasoning. Too high. I'll show you something. Paul talking in Timothy said something profound. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He says, great is the mystery of godliness. Hallelujah. So many scriptures written here now. Amen. <coughs> great is the mystery of godliness. If you, find, if you can give it to me, give it to me. On, uh, that's in, in, in he, uh, Timothy, sorry. Great is the mystery of godliness. Then he said something profound. Let's find it. Because I want to show you two, two things uh, to get right. Glory to God. Remember the expression, do you think I am just a prophet? Which could make a John to doubt. So who, who did the Israelites apparently see God to be? One guy upstairs. Once you cry for anything, he'll just throw it down. That's all he wants from you. No. No. So that's why you're going to church. So why are you going to, I'm going to church. Um, I'm writing on my prayer point. Because that guy is just your ATM. But you don't know that he wants to live through you. He wants to live through you. Hallelujah. Okay. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Colon. God was manifested in flesh. Take note. God was. Look at it. Did you see it? So is Jesus God? Is he a prophet? It's an insult. Oh, well, but, but the Bible says uh, a prophet shall be born. 
No, that was the best way the people who they were sending him to could understand Well, it was more than a prophet. So, when you say, there is prophet Muhammad, no problem. Agreed. Just like there was prophet Isaiah and the rest before now. That's fine. But our king of glory is not a prophet. He is God captured in time. No one ever spoke like this man. They said. No one ever spoke. Are you following me? It says God was manifested in flesh. Manifested in flesh. God. God. He called it a mystery. Huh? Did he call it a mystery? No, he says great is the mystery. So it's a great mystery. Because there's another mystery. What's the another mystery? Colossians chapter number 1. 25. Follow me. Are you learning tonight? Wait, let me ask. Is this teaching good for camp meeting? You sure? Is anybody lost? From the verse they have been saving it in now. And we have brought it. Are you understanding? Are you lost? Okay, shout. Scream in the air. Let me know you are still alive. Uh, say amen, somebody. Amen. Shout it. I, I, I know when you are hearing what you have not heard before, uh, you, you, are, you are at the same time trying to, to think. Am I preaching good? Okay. Whereof I'm a minister of minister, whereof I'm, I'm, I'm made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Next verse. Even the mystery, this is a mystery. There is a great mystery. This is a mystery. Even the mystery, listen to this, even the mystery that have been hid from ages and from generation, but now is made unto the saint. So Paul said, this mystery is made unto the saint. But there's another mystery that is not made known unto the saint. That one is a great mystery. How God is manifested in the flesh is a great mystery. It can't be rationalized. This mystery that has been made unto the saints, there became a provision for the rationalization of this one. And what is that one? We read everything from the eyes of Christ. So if we go into the Old Testament, all we need to do is to read it from the lens of Christ. There can be a rationalization in this kind. You can rationalize this one. How? All you need to know is to look at Christ properly. And Christ taught it beginning from Moses and all of the prophets. He expounded of the things consigning himself. That explained Christ in his salvation plan. But Christ being God. Great is the mystery. God was manifested in flesh. God. Are you there? Jesus said, Jesus said, the day of its return, the Son of Man does not know. But the Father knows. I thought the two of them are one. I thought the two of them are one. Don't forget, the son was captured into time. He had flesh. He can be flogged. He had sense. Because he had sense, listen now, the father captured into time now needed to learn. But the father outside of time does not need to learn. Is the Alpha and the Omega. He oh. sees the end from the beginning. His eyes go to and fro. The heaven is his throne. The earth is his footstool. Am I preaching good? 
but the one captured in time so he says so when he tells you it is not put it, it is not put in the knowledge of the son he's saying there are no theology there are no doctrines no teachings that can help a natural mind to understand the return no natural mind it is in you that means it is in me who does not exist in time that's why it says, word without end, amen. According to time, word without end, amen. Outside of time, the son of man will return. There will be a new Jerusalem. Hey, are you getting confused here now? Great is the mystery. God was manifested in flesh. God was manifested in flesh. Are you still here? Glory to God. Are you still here? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you learning good tonight? Sure you're learning good? Are you very sure? Glory to God. Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah 9, 6. This is Paul. You can say Paul can be overzealous and lie. Because some people already have started having problems with Paul now. So anytime we are teaching now, let's follow all of them outside of, not only Paul. Hello, church. Okay, let's read. For unto us a child is born. A child is born. So you see what we're telling you is not God. It's a child now. Look at this child. The description. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor. Read that next one. No, 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 no. Leave, leave it. Read that only one. The what? So this child is who? Isaiah said it. This child is who? Not just God. The mighty God. Oh, I know what's coming in your mind. Say, eh, is the mighty God. Is not the almighty God. I made that blunder too when we were younger. So, and I preached a message. I says, the mighty that became the almighty. I was not wrong, but I was wrong. Because what you fail to understand is mighty and almighty is actually the same thing. To be a God is first a great thing. Hello? <laughs> Are you still here? It's the same thing. Because God was referred to, I wish I had time, I'll show you, but make your research. God Almighty, Yeshua, no, no, Yahweh was referred to as Mighty God. So it was the title of the Father. His name, of course, you know, name in the Greek is Onoma. His name, that means his authority, his personality, is regarded as what? The Mighty God. The Everlasting Father. You see the next one? we we'll read that other one now. Let's no hurry. We're in mighty God first. You know, say, no, mighty. I, I'm still doubting that one. I've told you what mighty is. You are still doubting it. Huh? What did you call the next one? The everlasting son. Am I the one that wrote it? Just in case you think I'm trying to deceive you. All we I'm proving from since Did I write anyone? According to the book of Preston, chapter 2. The everlasting what? Son. The everlasting son. Huh? So that means the child born is the everlasting father. Even Moha could not mention this. When I was going, he says, I don't even know the way. You know, we're talking with code because they are very violent. Who is hearing me? Are you hearing me? You heard what I said, right? Now say, Jesus can talk anyhow. You know, you know, when a man talks about himself, you can doubt it. Huh? But who is talking this one? Who talk it? Let's speak in just English. Who speak it? S speak it now. <laughs> is it Jesus speaking? 
Isaiah called him what? Next one. Are you seeing it? The everlasting. So who is he? So you are opportune to see that man. You now said, go and ask him. Are you the one to come? Will another one come? You saw your father, you now told him, are you my father? You say, oh, oh, oh. no. So I just woke up and look at you and say, daddy, are you my father? First, he has committed crime. He said, daddy. And I say, are you my father? You will give him a blow. Upper cut. So, what are you doing in this house if I'm not your father? Johnny, John, John, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny said, should we wait for another to come? Are you the one? Or should we wait for another? Hey, may you not come to the place of offense that you begin to doubt the truth because you are offended. May you grow capacity in such a way where you will not look at right and call it wrong because you are offended. You will not leave God and go and be seeking for help from small, small God. Amen. Are you hearing me? So we should know him because the scripture says, those that know their God. You are not strong and doing exploit because you don't know your God. That's why the scripture says, it says, he must first believe, he must first believe that he is he is. If there is not, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It's hard to accomplish. So we take our time to study to know God. To know him. To know him of his word. To know him. So they said to Jesus, let us call down fire like Elijah did. Jesus said, he rebuked them. He said, you know not what spirit you are of. Then he says, the son of man does not come to destroy man's the son of man does not come to destroy man's what did Elijah say when he wanted to call down fire? Huh? What did he say when he wanted to call down fire? Who did he call? Did he call Jesus? Who did he call? Who did he call? God, right? Who should answer? Who then answered? Are you following me this night? They say, let us call down fire like Elijah did. So they are telling Jesus to call down fire like Elijah did. When Elijah was calling down fire, he called the fire from somebody. Now they are telling Jesus, no, let, let's, let, me, let me do some practical here. Come. Are you following this? This thing must make sense. Right? You are telling me somebody has called down fire by, from God before as written. Okay? As written. I'm not saying it was God that brought the fire. You are now telling me you are John, now I'm Jesus. You now said, Master, let us call down fire. Like Elijah did. He called it from God. And I looked at you and said, you know not of what spirit you are of. Then I said, God does not destroy man's life. No, you have not read the scripture well. You should have seen what I've made as a mistake here now. It's Luke 9. You want us to go there? Just know this. We've preached it here before. He now said, God does not destroy man's life. No. He says, the son of man. That means, whom Elijah should be calling is the son of man. So when he says, before Abraham, I am. That means he existed before Abraham and true. More expressions. First Corinthians chapter number 10 that we just read now. He said, in 4, when they drank of the wilderness. Good day. Good day. 
Jesus had not existed around that time. First Corinthians 10 from the verse number 4. Show us. Verse number 4. Quick. Let's start from 3 to give you a proper perspective. From 3. Hallelujah. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? Next verse. Next verse 4. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock. Wait. They never born them this time. Paul, you know what you they talk? They never even born a mama. Mary. They never born a mama, mama. A mama, papa. A mama, husband, papa. They even said son of David. They never even born the David. Who understands this now? They, you now come out to say, they drank of that spiritual rock, Christ. Eh? Are you understand this story? So, this happened at a time. So, in essence, the son of man does not destroy man's life. I expected him to correct him and say, sorry, sir. We are not saying you should destroy we are saying, let us call the father. Let the father do it for your sake. Smart guys. Are you following me? We are not asking you to destroy. We are asking for your father that helped Elijah before. So, who then destroyed? You want to say that? Making some sense? I leave the answer for my opponent. To answer. Who then destroyed? Are you learning good? Oh, we'll soon learn though because of time. And we'll try to continue. I know you have questions. When you fire them, it, it could make another sermon. I say part two. Who then destroyed? Ephesians 4 4. Go there. Glory to God. Ephesians 4 4. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you say thank you, Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Let's read from three. Let's read from three. Glory to God. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Next verse. He now says, There is one body and one spirit. One body and one spirit. Not two. One body and one spirit. Are you following? So, God Almighty, the big one, God the Son, the small one, maybe that's why I disagree with their Trinity doctrine. God the Holy Spirit, uh-uh, one. Jesus said, hi, my Father, we are one. And guess what the, the Jehovah's Witness said? And I said, and it actually means that they are united in one. That's the concept. It, it wasn't meaning that they are one. It actually means they are united in one. Because after, after all, he said, my father is greater than I am. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. Let me explain like this. You have water. You have block. You have steam. Are they all H2O? Are they all H2O? They're all H2O, right? You can drink water. Huh? Conveniently. Ordinary water. Can you drink block? You can't drink block, right? You cannot drink block. That means block is greater than water. Even though it's the H2O. Or you can put it in your mouth and be hoping to melt. Can you drink steam? So steam is greater than block. But they are all still H2O. So Jesus in the Father realm, because he's not captured in time, he does not have body and flesh. He did not partner with Mary. He's greater than Jesus in body. But don't forget, he has left that platform already. He levitated, they saw him. And he, he put away the Mary's body. 
So if you are still praying for Mary to assess him, he will say, I don't even have anything of Mary anymore. Because the Bible now says, as he is, so, are you following me? When we see him, we shall be like him. And once we be like him, you will not see me as Preston Idoro. You will see me as Preston Christ. Are you following me? So what we have become an identity with, we become a reality. Look at it. No, let's put this. Let's quote it properly. He says, "It does. It does not yet appear what we shall be. It does not yet appear. But when we shall see him, we shall be like him. So, true fatherhood." Will be clear. You look yourself at the mirror. You now see you look like your father. You now say, I'm, I'm the son of my father. As long as we remain on this earth. When we die, there will be true fatherhood. Are you following me? And it will mean that you will either look like Jesus or look like the devil. Not even your father. Because your father will look like someone too. That's why, uh, you know, Lazarus sisters knew that. They say, they say oh, well, uh, we know on the resurrection money, Jesus says, leave that one. That one is true. Jesus didn't say that one was wrong. He said, but there's another one I want to show you. I am the resurrection and the life. So what can happen in the resurrection morning? I can bring in this morning. Oh, am I talking to someone here? <laughs> so when things are getting tough, instead of you to be thinking, as I'm trying to doubt that my faith. Are you sure this Christianity? Are you sure uh, this? Are you sure? What did he tell us? Be anxious for nothing. But in all things, prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. Remember, we're going to read Romans chapter number 4, verse number 17. It says, the kingdom is not in eating and in drinking, but in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So when you are, you are anxious because of what you need to eat and drink, what did he tell you to do? Prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. Then he said, and the peace of God. The kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, peace, peace. So when we pray in the spirit, we stir up peace that surpasses Eating and drinking. Do you understand what I'm telling you? So if 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 John had prayed, if John had prayed, he would have stayed up peace from within him, he, which will either allow him to go through the cross or to change the cross situation. Do you understand what I'm telling you? It will either change the situation or empower him for the situation. You'll be hearing things like none of these things move me. Or the situation will be changing if the time had not yet come. God. Almighty God. So, watch this. Paul was one of the Jewish guys too. Who didn't understand this Christ thing? He was in Judaism. In Judaism, Christ was not mentioned. The best that was mentioned was Joshua. Christ never existed in Judaism. In fact, if you bring Judaism to Christ, it becomes Christianity. So, he was fighting them who supposedly wanted to produce polytheism, which they had been freed from. When the earlier started, it was polytheism. They were freed from it. And then they came to monotheism. And now he says, you want to bring us back? No. You can't tell us that another man who was born that we saw is now our heavenly father, Yehoshua. Oh, no, not Yehoshua now. Uh, 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 Jehovah. We refuse to agree. You can't say Yehoshua is the same as Jehovah. No. We refuse to agree. So there was fight. There was war. Right? Then, he was walking on the way to Emmaus. Right? No, Damascus. While on the way to Damascus, Yehoshua appeared in the sky. And he says, Paul, why persecutest thou me? Why persecutest 
down me. So Paul's eyes became clear that Jesus is not another God that they are trying to worship. Jesus is almighty who became flesh. So his, his, his knowledge became converted correctly in such a way where he could see him as who he truly is. Are you following me? As who he truly is. Son of the living God. So, why do you believe Jesus? He said all things were created by him. Without him was nothing created. All things were created by him. So, waiting God can't create. So, why do you believe him? But I thought in Genesis 1, he says, let us make. Let us make. Let us make. And what comes to your mind in Genesis 1 will be, God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit created. No. No. It was God, the Spirit, upon Jesus, the spoken word. What do you mean? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. The spoken word of God. Call what? Logos. Are you following me? So watch this. God is not three. God is one. Before he showed up in life, it was the father who lived outside time. Then he was captured into time. Then he left time and left us with his spirit. So he says, let us hear me now god is listen follow this now god is too mighty to be him but us so he can be el but elohim he takes man to only see him as el if God is a man, he will be limited by life. He cannot see his back. Hello? He cannot see his back. So his son is him. His spirit is him. Now think, my eyes run to and throw the earth. What kind of being is that? Lo, I will be with you always. How will you be with all, my, all of us? Always. Even Satan cannot be with all of us. Always. Can he be singular? And when he created you, how did he create you? In the plural, ecclesia. Are you confused at this point? Just as you are confused, so am I. <laughs> and you know why all of us are confused? Great is the misery of godliness. Stand up on your feet. You don't try to understand this one. You take what he has been said. Because that now becomes the rational standard by which all other things are judged. Say amen somebody. Amen. There are things we can rationalize. There are things we cannot rationalize. Amen. Talk to the Lord now. Be happy that you identified with the one who created the whole world. The king of glory. Oh, give him praise. I can see frustration in Pastor Martin's face. He just, he just put the skibble like this. Like this. Great are you, Lord. Is it not great? Great are 
you, Lord. Come and help me out with my suit. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Sing it. Come on, come on. Sing it. Great are you, Lord. That's why when he died, everything emptied up. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great is our God. Let's sing the next part. Great is our God. You're greatly to be praised. You're greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You're greatly to be praised. You're greatly to be. Father, you reign. Yeah, yeah. Great. Hananana Kesaya. Kill a man again, a Messiah. Father, you reign. Father, you reign. Great are you, God. You're greatly to be praised. You're greatly to be. Father, you reign. Look it up. You know what Jesus said to me? No one of the angels said, Who is thou man that thou art so mindful of him? They know who he is. They know who he is. When Pilate said, Do you know I have power? I have power to set you free and all that. He said, Eh! You know who I be? Lee Jones and this great God. That is greater than this world has made us his wife. No one I says, You will not fear what man can do unto you if you know who is with you. You will not fear what man can do unto you. You will not fear what man can if you know who he is, who your father is. That identity you will not fear. The creator of the world, the owner of the universe. You can finish writing about him. It's the essence of all things. It's a great God. Oh, give him praise. Thank him that you identified with him. Why you thank him like this? Sickness can just be healed. Things can just happen. Understanding who he is comprehending that greatness that you identified with a God who is bigger than the world. Oh, give him praise. Appreciate him tonight. Give him praise. Appreciate him tonight. Shagadabala na matile mehaya. Legemondo breda dizevela ha de manza haya. Togemena gule mahana hazela ha de haya. Rakabale na moko sahaya. Tonde ziza hale mahaya. Mandule bele da de balaga bashanda da bahaya. Zole bele de bahala. I live my life for you. I live my life for you. I live my life for you. I live, I live, I live. I live my life for you. I adore you. I praise you. I live for you. I live my life for you. I adore you. I love you. Love you. I sing for you. I live my life for you. I 
live my life for you. I live my life for you. I live, I live, I live, I live my life for you. I live my life, I live my life for you. I live my life for you. my life for you. I live my life. For you. I live, I live, I live, I live, I live, I live my life. Shaga digi manasaya. Tiba neme na kuria. Anana na niso. I live, I live, I live, I live my life. I naga 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 sila. Come on, I'm so I live my life for you, oh God, oh God. I live, I live, I live, I live. Eh, I na na ne na ga de. So na ba na da do sa da de. I ne na 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 sa na de. Eh na 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 ne na na. Sa ba na na ne na na. Kira da ga da ga se la, shu na me na na di, kama ne da su la, ila manda tali, ha na na ni, sha na na, ki na 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 ni, ha di na na sa ya, ki ma la ma na se, ma la di ki la ga se lo, se le la ba sa yo, kama le me na ya ni, ora ba na ni ba la sa na sa, ali ali ali. Ini mali, oh, ini mamu, oh, ini mi. Ini mali, oh, ini mamu. In him I live. In him I move. In him, in him I have my being. Come on, come on, say that. In him I have my. In him I live. In him I move. In him, in him, in him, in him. Kabashadi, in him I have. Shabadi le gagasaya. Tabanagi le matila. Ira managisha na natila. Hanga le gatila de. In him I have. Shabana shabana gisa. Ina gadataya. Imara nadina. Sule benahila. Hangi banana, shandi na mina, kabana sura na dadi, ini maha, hanga na gadila, suli babadila, shiba na nanula, hangi la dani, anana dadi, sula managis, kura manashana na gasala digaya, ini maha, kega gisaya, suli la hila, hangi la kila, santu balila, hangi di dadi, Handa handa di dasa, shuba la nani, hanga naga di, he my habi. Break it down. Break it down. The Bible says, I'll sing in the spirit, and I'll sing in my understanding. If you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, just receive it right now. He said, I'll sing in my spirit, and I'll sing in my understanding. He says, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Sing in the spirit. Just sing in the spirit, everybody here now. Sing in the spirit. In the same melody, let's sing in the spirit. Ha ha. Kabalo me na haya. Subili na hima haya. Shaga digi na gasaya. Kili mama dina. Andi na na shana. Kore di na taya. Hana na na ni. Sone ni na na. Kama na na nu. Hana ni. Hina nu. Hina na gadagi. Sagadadi. Balagadi. Shana na di. Handala bagadila. Subela manakanda. Shabina manu nalida. Sulima. 
Manangi Sula, Anani Manandisa, Solemana Gati, O Belena Tilaza, So Belena Haya, Copelena Dina, Amanaga Bega Hada, Amanadu Nega Saya, Solemana Galida, Alabamina Taya, Ika Basi, So Belena Nandi, Cobalena Nashana, Kela Natela, Romena Shana, Anga Bade, Anga Bade Nasaya, Solemana Matila, Elemana Manasa, Shabade, Kubede, Abareda, Kamanena, Subanena, Ibalana, Shabalana, Kubalena, Hana Suzasa, Ilabana, Arakimana, Shanana, Inanana, He that worshiping the spirit and worshiping the truth, Samanega La Villa Nasaya, Kurabala Natela, Antulebani, Sulemana Hada, Shabanana Nani, Hagadina, Kubadina, Shagadila, Diladina, Igadila, Giladila, Hagagala, Gulegaga, Ibalida, Paranana, Inada, Dadasha, Palena, Dida, Giga, Giladi, 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 Kilamana, Tunanana, Tenanana, Sananina, Senanana, Kilanana, Shananina, Handarina, Urabana, Saya, Kira, Dila, Bahaya, Hatu, Bela, Nina, Sa, Nina, Saya, Love you so, love you so, love you so, love you so. Elabana gahabana so, ibalaga dahila masi, ilabaga dahila maha, ilabala na hamana ha. Ora baba sha, ora baba sha, ida da tila, suli da haya, sili na hila, kabana nina, imana kura, sati labana, ilababa si, ilababa si, habane na di kubada. Shadadi, Regida, Ihala, Shamana, Kuradi, Paladi, Ilamana, Kubili, Baladahana, Haya, 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 Haba Fada, Haba Fada, Ilala, Shana, Kulela, Ila, Shanina, Kada, Shulila, Anaba, Sayada, 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 Halamadi. Abadi, kila mana na 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 su, salaba na abadi, kila baba na kasa, sera na baba na kuria, ira salama na gadi, sama na ragadi, kula ba nega bahaya da nega basaya. Look it up. And the Lord said to Daniel, "Why you pray? An angel had been sent to come deliver to you." what you asked already tonight the lord had sent angels before us to make the crooked path straight to make the crooked path straight to cause things to happen to position us among great men to cause great things to happen in our life he had sent angels angels has been dispersed for our sake they have been dispersed for our sake they have been strengthened to war for our sake. They are strengthening us in the inside. They are pushing our leg to run with great speed. Hamakora Bashanda. Sola Bena Koria Mahanda Sapale Rahaya. Rako Benashta Handa Labasahaya. Angels are ministering for us and ministering to us. Shadena. Kobanena no Saya. Handalabakoria. Patole manika masa, so ferana kebele se benahaya. Hanto bela, show de mena, koria banate mahasana. Hanta la bakopa lipa lahaya, saba shabada, kolabada, hande la ba, rakaba bale kabasa hata ba. Shana da 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 da. Alagabana mana mana hana, majesty. Majesty, Majesty, we worship your majesty. We worship your majesty. We worship your 
worship your majesty and majesty. You're the King of Kings, you're the Lord of Lords. We worship your majesty. You're the King of Kings, you're the Lord of Lords. We worship your majesty. You're the King of Kings, you're the Lord of Lords. He that seated on the throne of the Father, we worship you. We worship your majesty. And all of us, the lion, the giga, sire. We worship your majesty. We worship your majesty. Worship your majesty. We worship your majesty. Worship your majesty. We worship. We worship your majesty. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, 
Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. Just close your eyes and think from the Spirit how great this God is. How great this God is. Look into heaven. See the majesty seated on the throne. That's who we worship. That's who we love. Jesus, the Christ. Oh. The heaven and the earth worship you. There's none greater than you. Look in the realms of the spirit. Is the majesty. The majesty. Greater than the prophet. Is the creator of the heaven and the earth. Shade. 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 Kelebe lebo non doso bede la hades. Destroy the defiler of the temple. Tear down the works of darkness with your light. And the light came on darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. And the light shined on darkness, and darkness could not comprehend it. 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 That light that shines in our heart. That shines in the heart of man. That shines in the heart of man. From the throne room. From the presence of God. From the presence of God. From the presence of God. And darkness could not comprehend it. Darkness could not comprehend it. Shut up, I like it. Legged the Bella de Bolota, shut up, I let up. So got the Bella de Laga de Bella de Yada Bella de Shada Hada. Darkness could not comprehend it. Shah Ayala Basha Kurabala de Yada and the Melagale Bahaya. Shana na makula bahaya, na mana na di malari ya naha. Stir that fire again. Burn that fire again. Burn that fire again. Hot, 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 hot for Jesus. Hot for Jesus. Heart for Jesus. Heart for Jesus. Kratos. Kratos. Heart for Jesus. 
hot for Jesus. Shining and the burning lights. Shining and the burning lights. Hot. Hot. The anointing is here. Hot. Yes. Hot. 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 Sha. Hot. Sha. Hot. Kalabana yada. Hot. Sakomena. 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 Halama kuria basana haya. Sha. 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 Lord of glory. Lord of glory. Lord of glory. Lord of glory. King of glory. King of glory. Sha. Sha. Shine, 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 shine. You are enthroned in this room. You are enthroned. Ayade, Shanada. Hayade, Shanada, Kolabade, Papa Latina, Haprakone Marietta. What only you can do, do tonight. What only you can do, do tonight. What only you can do, do tonight. Do upon your children. Do upon your children. From center to circumference of this all. Everyone, drink. Drink, 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 drink. The water that never runs dry, the stream that never runs dry, and we will test no more. 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 He that is greater than this, he that is greater than this, he that is greater than us, he that is greater, the greater, the greater, the greater, he that is from above. He that is from above is above all. He that is from above is above all. He that is from above is above all. He that is greater, greater. Greater Shadema Nagabaha. Glory. Glory. Your glory. Feel the earth. Feel the earth. Like water cover the sea. Ayabala Makure Amanajana Handa. Oh. Yeah, 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 Shandala gebele ne gobe sevala hana haza. Bonge la balada yada baba shanda. Everyone under my voice is refined tonight. He's refined tonight. He's blessed tonight. Shada gabalada yada daba saha. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Yes, the echo of heaven. Yes, the sound of heaven. Feels the power of heaven. Shangala Bale de Grondos Kilabahai. Whatever is not of God disappear. Whatever is not of God disappear. 
We rebuke foul spirits. In the name of Jesus. We rebuke sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus. Shine glory shine Children hear us. Let your glory shine We your children hear the sun. Let your glory shine around. Like the firmament of the sky. We shine as light like the firmament of the sky. We are candles upon the candle stand. We don't lose our savour. We shine brightly. Let your glory shine around. Let it shine around. And let your glory shine around. Liver, liver, you focus, you liver. Shine around. Liver, you receive. Liver, you focus, you focus. Let your glory shine around. Just allow the spirit tonight. Those who are hungry will receive. Hey, Nako, say, ya, nani, nani, ha. Let your glory shine around. He's right there. Angels are right there. The Holy Ghost is right there. I'm not coming there because angels are right there. The power of God is right there. They are right there. So you are ready to receive, receive tonight. Yes, that's the anointing. Yes, yes, yes. You can see it. You can feel it. It's right there. Leave those people alone. You focus. Leave the share. Leave everything. You just focus. The Spirit of God is here. He's here. I'm telling you. He's just touching you in the crowd. He's touching them in the crowd. It's just right there. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. It's just right there. Just right there. Just right there. Just right there. It's touching. It's fixing. It's anointing. He's feeling, he's tearing up. Yes, 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 yes. Shanda, Kalabale de Des, Konde Lebaha, Kolebele de Manahandes. Effortlessly, he's just there. He's just there. He's just there. He's just there. Don't be distracted. Things are happening. Don't be distracted. I'm telling you, it's just there. It's just there. Yes. Yes. He is doing what only him can do. Kurala Bashanda. It's touching, it's touching, it's touching, it's touching. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it there, that's it there. That's it there. Leave them. Ushers, you focus. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. It's everywhere. It's everywhere, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. Take, 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 take. 
take, 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 I can see the wave, take, that's it, that's it, that's it, take, leave the chairs, don't touch nothing, leave nothing, that's a distraction, you just take, 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 take it, 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the power of God is you, is you, is you, Yes, Kapasha, Pepa la Catapapella, Rapapella Tomena Catapella Shaha. It will do for your life, it will do for your family, it will do for your life, it will do for what concerns you. He's touching, he's touching, he's touching, he's touching, he's touch. Shagabala Makula Bela Hadahaya. Soda. Soda, Pelena Gokima, Hando, Hando, Sabalena Korea Manena, Hante, Hante, Shatumela Kobelena Haya, Hande, Hande Lemana Kolebana Haye, Shantala by Ebalaha. By the mercies of God, by the grace of God, by the power of God. Shando keba maneka so pela minara pela nahaya hanto se ba pela koshe peleha sabash 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 felemena kobeleha rokobele na besume nahaya is right there is right there i can see it by best is there seed by Ben? Is there see, 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 and receive it? And the angel came and strengthened Jesus. See him there, see him there, see him there. Fresh fire, fresh fire. Stand up from within. Let the fire burn. Let the fire burn. Let the fire burn. Let it 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 burn. That's it. That's it. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. You can resist it. You can resist it. He's right there, 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 he's right there. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn from inside, 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 let it burn from inside. Shandalabaya. Kurabala Shandi. Sulabalada Gabalada. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is doing it tonight. Yes, he's doing it tonight. Yes, we thought you were done yesterday, but you were not done. And you are doing it again tonight. Tonight, 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 that which is above, that which is above, has descended on them that are that are here that which is above have descended on them that are here receive 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 shanda kolabela yabana ngresa hampelona freda suka pela handas rakobela shamenande sopre hila maha hando rabaka shanda rakababa shanda labahaya and your life will not remain the same again. And your life will not remain the same again. And your life will not remain the same again. Hola mesa so far in Akabishanda. 
It will not remain the same again. It will not remain the same again. He that is with you is greater than those that are with them. He that with do it that are with you is greater than those that are with them. Is greater than those that are with them. Is greater than those that are with them. Your life will change. Your ministry will change. Your health will improve. Your anima kora sevile na hama hama na koplesi bala na hashd. Kroteza 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 valo tebina koleva mena hayana. The fatherhood of God. The fatherhood of God. He that is seated above shall laugh. The fatherhood of God. It will be clear that God is your father. It will be clear that God is your father. It will be clear that God is your father. It will be obvious that God is your father. It will be obvious that the greater one is a work in you and for you. Is a work in you and for you. Shandala bakora bela haya. Sabela mena kule bela bahada bana handash. Kabala na mana makuriya bakasha palata saha. Shandada da 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 sha. Shaba, Gabada, Gabada, Montalabash, Krobela na Makubele Bahaya. Holy Ghost. Kilaba la makala ba ya da manda hada hada. Sebala mana kula bela ba hada 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 hada. He's still there. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you as king. Standing ye in the midst of all. And as we worship you and draw, and as we worship you and draw, and as we worship you and draw, come, Lord Jesus. It's taking a place. It's taking up its place in your life. Yes. Yes. Kaba prenesa vela habena. Kurabala makavi somena zizela ha. Come, Lord. May things dematerialize right now. Things dematerialize right now. Things that does not put the right shape in you, they dematerialize right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. What is not of God? Go! Shamalabakuria visa mezda hadasha. 
Klote meni karioma si vahanis. Shanta belo mehriande sahastas. Vale makoria la makule manahanda sabahalash. Robela na kuble hisa la mahanda sahastas na handas. Munda la bashanda halabahaya. Cobra de Mezes and Lebahaya. Morabala da Manja da Hasdas.
Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And Spirit of God, don't stop. Continue. Even after here. Everything that you have started, finish them. Finish them. Let the growth disappear. Let the tumor disappear. Let the cancer be cancelled. Let the sickness disappear. Let the poverty ends. Let the dryness stop. Let the pain disappear. In the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus. The mighty God, the everlasting Father. Do what only you can do. Do it tonight. Do it tonight. Do it tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. See you tomorrow. Oh,